Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, gonna do another K30 build video this time around. Um, last one you would have seen was the uh, the engine. So last episode, I put the engine together. Um, so that's that's all sitting there ready to go. I haven't really done anything else with that since. Um, I've got a whole bunch of accessories and whatnot to put on. So I've got a box of parts here. It's got the engine mounts, uh, alternator, starter motor, there's a whole bunch of bracketry and all that sort of stuff that I need to sort of work through. Get all that painted up and prettied up before it goes on the motor. Um, first things first, though, I want to try and I've got the, the carbine manifold set up here, so I painted the exhaust manifold last night just with some high temp ceramic paint. Uh, I just want to tidy up the inlet manifold and some of the bracketry and stuff like that. I don't actually have a gasket for it. Normally, I'd, I'd separate it and paint it all individually, but when I brought this motor, I ran it. I was happy with the way it ran, so I'm not going to worry about separating things if I don't need to. So I think I'll just um, use the old alfoil and sticky tape trick and mask up that and get the inlet manifold painted. And I can get that bolted on the engine. And once that's sort of um, bolted on, I'll pull the gearbox out and give that a bit of a paint up and a tidy up. Get that bolted on and then we can drop it in the car. Um, there is one thing that I want to do though. So before the engine goes in, I want to try and mount the brake brake master um, <clears throat> just so I can run the brake line. So what I want to try and do is I want to try and hide the brake line as much as possible. So generally when I do my cars, I'll run it behind the steering box. I might even run this over the back of the cross member over to the passenger front wheel. I like to try and keep as much hidden as possible like with wiring and pipe work and all that sort of stuff. So I think that's the plan. So if I can get at least that, that brake line done, um, that way the motor and everything can go back in the car. And then I can do the rest of the brake lines another time. All right, so that's a bit rough and ready. Um, it kind of worked all right. Honestly, it probably would have been quicker just to pull the thing apart. But anyway, we've gone this far now, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a paint job. And I'll tidy up all these brackets and whatnot. I'll, I will remove those and I'll paint them black. All right, let's get some paint happening. Right, that's all done. Um, don't laugh, but another mad trick for painting in cold, wet weather is a hairdryer. I've had this for years. Works a treat. It all turned out pretty good. All right, let's throw it on there. So we're kicking some goals with this thing now. Um, so I've got a fair bit on today. So all the engine mounts are on, the bracketry for the gearbox, alternators all being painted up, that's on, uh, water pump, pulley, fan belt, fan. Um, I did put the thermostat housing on. Now I did say in the last video I was actually gonna flip that. And the reason for that was to suit the S13 Sylvia radiator that's been mounted in the car. Um, looking into it a bit more now, it's it's an alloy radiator, so I'm thinking I'm just going to cut the cut the outlets off, uh, switch them over, and just get them rewelded on. That way, it'll keep the hoses and everything sort of standard. Um, it's going to look a lot neater, I think, too. So um, yeah. Anyway, so fuel lines on as well. Manifolds all bolted up now. That's all nice and tight. So really, the last piece of the puzzle now is just to put the dizzy in. So I'm just going to drop that in now. Um, I've got the motor still set on top dead center. I've got pre, I've pre marked the dizzy so I know exactly where it's going to sit. So I'll drop that in now, put the leads on, and then um, I think I'll call it a day. Sure. 
Should look pretty good when it's in the car. Might try and get that um, standard air cleaner out. I'll get that sandblast and get a nice coat of paint on that. That'll sort of really finish it off. I'm gonna do a bit of a tidy up and I'll probably spend a bit more time on it tomorrow. Might try and get the um, the gearbox and everything out. And I've got some things to clean up on that. Um, the flex plate and all that sort of stuff. I'll get that cleaned up and the, uh, the sandwich plate, starter motor, all that, get that painted up. Um, yeah, get that done tomorrow. And then I'll um, look at doing this brake line. So I think we'll, uh, we should see the motor in there. Maybe tomorrow afternoon, I'd say. Fingers crossed. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, I'm starting to feel like we're getting somewhere now. Um, gearbox is all done, so that's just sitting here drawing. I'll give that another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so, and that'll be good to go. Um, while that's been drying, I've sort of got all the other stuff ready to go. So I've got starter motor, gearbox cross member, sandwich plate, flex plate. I've uh, just dug out my brake line and stuff. So I've got enough fittings to make the one line, but that's all I sort of need to, to get done before the motor can go in. Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is I might move the, move the Prado out. I can move the Corolla over here where I've got a bit more room to move. And we can get stuck into it. All right, so the cars will moved around now. Um, I'm going to put this up on some stands. We'll get the wheels off. Um, then I'll have a look at running this brake line. I, I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge actually having a look around the steering box, but we'll give it a go and see what we can come up with. All right, so I've just had to dig through all my stuff, find the uh, the brake master and booster but i've just remembered that i don't even actually need to mount that to the car all i need to do so the front brake line um, comes out of the front port on the master cylinder which then feeds into this t-piece so really i just need to mount the t-piece um, and then run the brake line over to that left front wheel so originally because i've filled in all the holes in the engine bay uh, so this used to sort of mount to the firewall like so and then go in through the inner guard um, so because I've welded up all the holes, that's no good to me anymore. So you can kind of see where it used to poke out underneath here. So it used to come out there and get located straight there and then into your flexi line to your caliper. Um, so because that's gone now, what I think I'm going to do is actually mount the T-piece down here. That way I can just run the brake line straight from the master, straight into that, shoot down here for the driver's wheel and then shoot across across the cross member for the passenger wheel. So I think I'll mount the T-piece up and um, yeah, start bending up some line. All right, I've got that little T-piece mounted now. I had to give it a little lick of paint before it went on, of course. Um, I was actually just digging through all my brake stuff and I come across this. I totally forgot I even brought these. So these are these cool little braided brake line kits that you can buy off eBay. Um, totally forgot I even brought it. So that's a, that's a bonus. So I might get, uh, get that mounted up on the left front wheel and then we can um, start running some hardline. So I don't do what I normally do and forget to put the uh, fitting on first. It's caught me out so many times in the past. So this is a pretty old school tool. I, I brought this when I was a um, an apprentice like 20 years ago. Does the job though. Yeah, right, so put our little flaring die in. been a while since I've used this. Alright, 
So the trick is to make sure that everything lines up nice and square in there before you start putting too much pressure on it. So that looks pretty good. So we'll uh, wind him up and see how we go. Brake lines need a double flare, so that's the first step of it. I'll give you a look at that. And now we do the, uh, the next step, which is to take the die off. And just um, put the cone straight back in, which creates the, the second part of the flare. It creates a nice sharp bit on the pipe for it to seal against. one done. brake line done now. Uh, it wasn't too bad actually. It was a little bit fiddly sort of trying to get around some of the steering but um, I've actually got like 25 millimeters of clearance now so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, give me a bit of a look at that. So yeah I've just got some um, peak lamps and a bit of um, vacuum line to sort of insulate it. That just runs down around the side of the cross member there and pokes up the other side. And just mounts up to the, uh, the braided brake line. All right, so that's all done now. Um, so yeah, next step is to mount the gearbox onto the motor and then we can look at putting it in the car. Motor and box is all bolted together now. Um, that all went together pretty smoothly. Just done a couple of checks. Um, nothing else that I need to do before it goes in the hole. So um, yeah, hopefully this is the last time that we see the empty engine bay. in i'm happy um yeah it looks really good in there that's a massive boost for my motivation to keep going on this thing um still a lot to do obviously but you know we can keep ticking things off the list um 
I think the next step I'll probably be just I'll get the brake lines done, then that way that's that's done and dusted. Um, I don't like leaving things kind of half done. So I'll finish the brake lines off, and then you know I can start on the rest of the plumbing, do whatever I need to do with this radiator. I still need to run fuel lines and all the electrical, so I might get my mate Matt to come and uh, have a bit more of a look at that. Um, yeah, it would be nice to get the engine started before I sort of start on the interior. Just you know, at least know that everything's right that, and then I can get started on that. Um, anyway, that's jumping jumping away ahead there. But um, yeah, anyway, so next thing I'll probably do just to finish this part is just this air cleaner. I really want to see the air cleaner on there or paint it up. Um, yeah, I'll probably get, get onto that. And um, yeah, that'll be it for this one. Thanks, guys. Cheers for watching.